fishing Australia here today. I'm down on the South Esk River at Hadsburn in the grain machine. And yeah, so going to flick around today with plastics, hard bodies, anything, search for trout. So I'm, my plan for start off is I'm gonna be flicking my Crucius right about. I've just got four pound timber we'll fray it on it. Four pound jig leader, a little one to sixteenth strike tiger jig head. And as you can see there, I've got a bug, two inch bug on. And my plan is to fish it along those sort of willows. And just get in nice and tight and hopefully pull some trout from underneath and use the electric to steer me in close. So anyway, enough blabbering. I'll get right to it and I'll see you guys when we get a fish. This video is proudly sponsored by All Goods Launceston. All your outdoor clothing needs and the best rods and great Tasmanian lures. Make sure you head in next time you're in Launceston and enjoy the rest of the video. So guys, um, I've fished the bug for about 50 minutes now and not much action on it. So I reckon I'm going to switch over to a Strike Tiger 2 inch black and gold tea tail. So yeah, and then we'll move spots. So no fish here, damn it. So guys, we've picked up the crazy fella, the crazy one of the channel, and um, yeah, I've chucked, uh, chucked on the black and gold, so yeah, anyway, we'll get it going, and then we'll scoot on down, get the electric in, and fish some good water and catch some good trout. Hopefully. Why? How fast do you want? Just keep digging in it. Twitch, 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 twitch. Oh! Eat it! Yes. Oh. 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 On the hawk sniper. Oh, yes. What? Hawk sniper. Oh, that's taken too long. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, guys, you, br Ooh. you brought lighter and all that, didn't you? You're a fucking power. This is Fuck me. I'm He's not a bad little trap, too. Hawk sniper. So, guys, show us the lure. He hit a hawk sniper. It's kind of got the imitation of a redfin. Yeah, it's a little redfin hawk sniper. Well, oh, while you're getting a lure out to show off, I'll grab a measurement on him. He is about 30. I did say there's going to be a trout. 36 centimetres. Nice little trout. Oh, hold up, baby.
grab out. Oh, hey, chuck him here. Got our all goods knife. Hard, nah, 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 nah. Got our all goods knife. And we'll just. In behind the gills. Slice open his gills. Like that. Just Dead. Nearly. Nearly. And then. Wait for him to open his mouth. And then, there he is. Nice little fella, he'll bleed for a little bit. But he is off. And he's a nice trout. Show us the hawk sniper that did it. In the water there. Did the damage. Nice red fin pattern. There he is. So these are available at All Goods for the cheapest price you'll find them in Lonnie. So make sure you go in to All Goods and pick up one. So yeah, I find they've got a great colour range. They're probably the, can you chuck us a towel? I mean, they're probably the best colour range of lures. Like they've got all the main patterns, the wasp and all that. And yeah, chuck him in the Yeti bucket. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, we'll, we'll chuck him in the Yeti bucket. Anyway, we'll get this sorted out and then yeah, we'll do all that. So, phew, fish number one. Okay guys, so, We've just realised. We've just realised. Realize, I said to him last week, you bring the lighter. And what do we have? We got a lighter. So, we'll keep on fishing this rocky bank for a bit, and then we'll go in and perform perform the catch and. Sorry, I meant the catch and cook. <laughs> Sorry about that one, Willem. <laughs> Get at him. Ew. Hell. I didn't say that. <laughs> didn't say that one. Did you say that one? Nope. We're gonna hit another one. Oh! <laughs> Rod's cheating up. Fuck! Oh. Oh. Fish! Fish! Ah. Oh. oh my god! Get in! Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh! We start. Oh! Damn, we're gonna hit it all. I guess you're a keeper. Fuck! Oh. Did I break it? Did yeah, I, you broke it with the net. Yeah. Oh. Fish. Oh my god. Oh. Come oh. oh. on everywhere. Oh. oh there so another nice little species, man. There's pies down in there. Little species man on the. Oh, I should do a bit of a job here. <laughs> a, bit, a bit of a tag. Just... <laughs> yeah, just cut it. But don't let go of the rod bit. Oh. oh. Precious. There's some. Oh. Yeah, it's just. Oh, that was like that. Yeah. Like, we had it like that. Yeah, because then. Yeah. Because you. F Nah, it's all good. Um, I'll grab a photo of the trout like that. So that one was on. Uh, uh, that one was on the gold hawk sniper. Not the nice. The colour that I caught. The oh. I was using that colour earlier. Yeah. We're a bit stuck. We've been uh, catching them in around rocks on in the Yeah, they're, they're, they're in the rocks today. This fella's definitely... 
Oh, with Bertie's. With no, Bertie that, with the lime. No, I don't think that's lime. Yeah, no, with Bertie with the lime. I think it's a cormorant here. Um, what we'll do, we'll grab the old goods knife. Two fish, Dylan's, mine's in the uni bucket. Um, went to Two the fish, bucket, um. Uh, hit the rocks and we snapped the precious. <sighs> Unfortunately, uh, this one's, he's a keeper now. Yeah, he's just, we can't really get it out. He hasn't ruined the day, but, um, oh well. We're, we're catching trout. <sighs> so, there he is. That's a... Look at the lure that did it. Damn uh, it. Oh well, not much you can do about that. Except get a decent person that can net. You did say get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I'm gonna get into that for the rest of your life. Oh. Holy damn it, we're right up on the rocks where these fish are. Um we're past around Uh, do you want to open up the Yeti bucket? No, I will. I will. I'll give a bag for it too. Want to chuck her in the same bag? Yeah, just chuck her in the same bag. Okay, go nice little trout. Salmotruta. So guys, um, broken rods and trout being caught. Um, Better. Um, yeah, trap. So trap being caught, but broken rod. Oh, it's annoying, but uh, oh well. Anyway, um, we're going to scoot up, get on some flat land. Not this stuff. This stuff is horrible. Bit of glare. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so we'll scoot up there. We'll see you guys when we're up there, and then we'll start the fire process. So guys, fire's up the back. We're just gonna prepare one. It's chosen to be mine. Um, so, whoa. where can I chuck? Just chuck her there. There we go. Right, so, fish, pretty simple. Just gonna cook her in foil today. So just washing off all the sand off her first, even though she's going to get more sand on her. What have they been eating? So, pretty much we're just going to scale him, so simple scaling measure. Who's one hungry fish? Scale the whole thing. 
on both sides. So you sort of just like pushing the knife at an angle, rubbing it up, and all their scales will come off. Yeah. Give him a wash. I've accidentally cut him open a bit while drawing a scale and it's all good knives too sharp. <laughs> so make sure you don't miss the ones on the very bottom of the fin. So yeah, that, that's the fish scaled. And now, just so there, at its bum, slide in your knife and just slide it up the center of the fish. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Wait, there comes his guts. Just like that. Now, there's the inside. Beautiful, nice pink meat on him. So, obviously, you just want to pull out. Oh, his gut. So that's his gut, stomach, and all that. If you want to slide him open, you can see what he's been eating. And as you can see in there, it's a prawn. A what? Oh, it's a yabby, actually. Show me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Yabby. <laughs> Claw. So that's a little tip to know what they're eating on. So this time of year, you can. Well, that, them lures we caught them on with the colour And there's another little one. So that's like a good little tip to figure out what they're eating on. Just chuck that off. And then you've got, once you've got all its guts out, you've got this, which is the bloodline. So you just slide your knife down the bottom of that. Like so. Put your, push your thumb in. And then wash it all out. So just sort of scraping your thumb in, getting all that gunk out. Some people like to use like a teaspoon and push it all out. So just a little tip to make it easier for you, but if obviously if you're cooking them out in the wild, you're not gonna have a teaspoon with you. Well, you might do if you're prepared, but not very prepared. And then, if you're cooking them raw, once you've got most of that gunk out, that that little bits like to stay in there. So you just sort of twist your knife in those holes at the back to sort of get it out and work it out of it with your fingers. Um. So yeah, once you've got the fish clean like that. You, you, an easy way to do it, uh, to get rid of like everything that you're going to do is just like sort of hook your hands behind its gill, just rip out its gills. So then, no gills, it's got nothing but fins and skin, which is all you can eat apart from the, obviously you can't eat fins, but like they're pretty easy to just sort of get through. And we need butter. There's your. Fish with the old goods knife there. So a nice fish. Aww. So guys, just like that. That's our fish on the foil. So pretty much what we've got here is this. I don't know if I'll get you in the shade. Everglades fish and chicken spice from old goods for only 10 bucks. And you get, oh, it's a huge 170 grams of spice. Like I don't think you're gonna use 170 grams in a long, in a short time. So we'll chuck some of that on there. It's a nice spicy sort of spice. We've got our fire cooling down in there. So just gonna put that all over it. Put it inside it like that. Just carver it in it, and that. So. 
No, I guess we'll chuck it in. Nothing there. Might as well. We've got nothing else to do. Where's the knife gone? There. Mm. One thing you can do is put a. Yeah, you hold him. Put a slice into the meat to get the spice into the actual meat. Chuck a little bit in there, a little bit in there, a little bit in there, a little bit in there. Close that up. Now we'll wrap her up. Jeez, that fire's putting out some heat. So yeah, uh, we mm, we need a bit more oil, but we don't have any, so that'll do. So yeah, we'll let our fire die down to coals, chuck her on, leave her on there for about, oh, she's bloody hot, so I don't know, five to 10 minutes. And then, yeah, we'll see her when she's cooked. Take two. There she is. So, of course it's going to be hot. Mm. Put it on the fire, it's going to be hot. <laughs> so, there's our trout. We'll leave her cooking for. Oh, jeez, I'm starting to get Leave her cooking for about five to ten minutes. And yeah, just sort of open it up and have a look except we don't need to open it up because it's bloody open already because we didn't have enough foil um but yeah i'll just give you another look at that fish spice there it is 10 bucks for 170 grams pretty good smoke <laughs> so yeah see when she's cooked oh she's getting there oh my god i wish we had a temperature camera or something like that because that is bloody hot. Looking very nice. Right. Now, where's the knife? Yeah. We'll have a little taste test. Just a little tip. Lift it up a bit. Just a little tip. If you buy a wood knife, don't put it in water. <laughs> um, put it in water and the wood like stands when it's been put in water. <laughs> She's a bit tight now, but anyway. Um, so trout is done. Probably only took five to eight minutes. So there's a nice, nice little chunk. Get some of that spice on her. Oh, that's good. Have a bit. I'll get something first. Get all yeah, get a bit of all goods. Get a bit more all good spice in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cover it. It's good, isn't it? Mm. That's bloody good. Mm, that stuff is awesome. It does the job anyway. Yeah. 
So, um... Uh, that is really good. Yeah, I know. No lemon needed when you got all goods spot. So, yeah, that's available at all goods for $10. So, 170 gram can. So, pretty big. Yeah, so anyway, I'm going to get into this before Xavier's eating it all. Uh, yeah, bloody good. The skin does it too. Oh, it's good. It's hot. Really hot. How do I explain it? What does it taste like? Um, chicken salt. <laughs> like a... It's got a spicy, it's like a spicier version of chicken salt. No one, I don't, like a, it's like a steak. Like something you'd put on a steak. Mmm. Bloody good. Let's have a look at it. Sure you just want to eat some. <laughs> Caught about 50, uh, an hour ago. Good. Make sure you go down and get some. Yeah. That's the thing. Even if, if you buy like another pack of plastic, another a pack of Strike Tiger plastics or a Hawk Sniper, and something that adds up to $20, and you buy it down, down where, near the front of the store, you'll get like three fish of chase if you ask. So, it's a deal, so. I've, I've just had a hit. I've tried to go to sleep. Well, that's good, Ace. Oi. Do you mind if I keep him? I'll keep him. He's mine. Oi, number 20 for the season. And he's picked up on the doggest method of all. <laughs> he's not happy about it. I might turn this music off. Yeah, turn the music off and here we go. <laughs> oh, the old faithful. Tazzy Devils. Oh. I thought we'd pick one up, trolling. Yeah. So that's the that that pattern is available at All Goods Tasmania. Here's a look at the pattern. I'm pretty sure she's available at All Goods. They have a nice little selection of Tazzies. Poor trap. Poor fella's been picked up. On the doggest of lures. On the... <laughs> it, we've just got a. I'll grab a point. Oh, yeah. Chuck, chuck him here. I'll have a look. Don't let him out. Uh, I'm not. There's a look at him. <laughs> nice trout. That's bigger than the mall, I think. Yeah. Oi, what about? Mine. Oi, your rod. Here, look at here, here. Is your rod getting hit? I don't, I don't know. Oi. Might be a red fin. You just told me to stop. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, I was just pulsing. Hey, so. Trolling does work. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they, like it said, Tazzy Devils that are, are available at All Goods. Nice little trout. I've picked him up with dry hands, so he's gonna have to be a keeper now. But anyway, some more fish spice I can chuck him on. You on? You on? You on? Yep, 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 yep. Nice. Nice. Are you on? Yep. Yes. Oh, are you snagged? No. Ah, come out. He's still there. There he is.
Oh, yes. He's twisting. I fair hooked him. Oh, yes. Yes. Give it to him. 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 Yeah. <laughs> oh, my oh. God. This <laughs> way. Oh. oh, you spat it out just then. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. fair hooked him in the ass. Do we want to release him? I want to keep him so I can give. Um, yeah. So, oh, oh my god. Did you record that? Yeah, I recorded that whole thing. Oh. Fish number four. Tazzy Devil. Jeez. Yet yeah, again, another. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Devils make a comeback. Ano another. Um, another one. Another all goods lure there. Got a nice little range of Tazzy Devils in all goods, and I think I they're only. Yeah. So, nice little all goods. That needs the biggest of the day. That's a frog. Tasty Devil frog. He's biggest of the day. Big of the day. And coming in at. Oh, what being 354 centimetres. 37 centimetres. Yeah, he's not that big. Doi! Doi! Right, doi. Uh, up here. We'll chuck the old good knife into him. He's pooing. Oh, not, don't know poo in my boat. Oh. oh, this is ridiculous. Hey, none of that. None of that. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. So, guys, um, long story short, Xavier has just left. And, um... I've just started to control because I've got a little bit left. <laughs> and that is the third trout of the day for me. Uh, oh, that is flipping ridiculous. I got a little red fin, but it was tiny, so I, well, I didn't worry about the film. But how big is he? Oh, he's 35. I've got one other, so that'll make a feed. Oh, we'll see if he wants to go. Put him in the net and see if he... Yeah, he, he wants to go. He wants to go. We'll, we'll let him go. Nothing's wrong with him. Perfectly intact. I'll just grab him. So there he is. Beautiful little fella. I'll quickly just grab a snap. Come on. There he is. And back he goes. Ew. So guys, that's the end of this video. Nice video, nice and lots of fish being caught. Um, a few random clips chucked in at the end from our way back. Um, yeah, never really do much trolling. Don't, I just find it, sorry about the wind. I just find it a lazy way to fish and I mean, we were just cruising back so just chucked them out because why not and then yeah I ended up fishing that for the rest of the day because I couldn't be bothered going back to the spinners and getting the electric all set up but um, yeah so those Tassie Devils that we're catching them on they are available in All Goods Launceston um, yeah so I, as well as the Hawk Snipers um, uh, tough day with the rod but Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Great day, take away the rod, but yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, share and subscribe. And see you guys next time. Yeah.